In this question, a curve has equation x squared over 4 plus y squared over 9 equals 1. So part A, sketch the curve. OK, so you probably want to be thinking about this, writing it in the form of x squared over 2 squared plus y squared over 3 squared equals 1. And then that way, that tells you that it is being stretched parallel to the x-axis by factor 2 and stretched parallel to the y-axis by factor 3. OK, so you can think of it that way. Alternatively, you can say to yourself, right, where does it cross uh, the x-axis? That's going to be when y is 0. So cover up that bit and then solve that equation. So you get plus or minus 2. Or, um, well, and rather, where it crosses the uh, y-axis is when x is 0. And so you solve that equation and you get y squared equals 9, so y is plus or minus 3. OK, so either way, we know that it's going between uh, minus, uh, sorry, minus 3 and positive 3 and minus 2 and positive 2. So it's going to look something like that, kind of like quite accentuated there. So that's minus 2 and that's 2. So don't worry too much if yours looks kind of kind of as rubbish as mine, as more kind of like potato shaped. Um, ellipses are quite challenging to draw. Okay, so that's what our curve would look like. Right, part B, find the points of intersection between the curve and the line y equals 2x. So I just need to substitute y equals 2x into the equation. So x squared over 4 plus 2x squared over 9 is equal to 1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by the 9 first. So multiply everything through by 9. So I'm going to get 9x squared over 4 from there. And then here I've got the 2x all squared, which is 4x squared, is equal to 9. And then multiply through by the 4. So we get 9x squared plus 16x squared equals 36. So we've got the 9x squared and the 16x squared is going to make 25x squared equals 36. So then x squared must be 36 over 25. So x is plus or minus 6 fifths. OK. So they are the values of x. And now we just need to find the values of y. So we're going to have minus 6 fifths. And when x is minus 6 fifths, y is going to be minus 12 fifths. And when x is 6 fifths, we've got two lots of 6 fifths, which is 12 fifths. And so these are the two points of intersection.